what a what a dick I am. What? Getting on a green screen wearing green. <laughs> yeah, that's a dick move. Well, I kind of am. Hey, too. whatever. It's I'm fine. Work, 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 your, yours is, dude. Yours is actually going to be <laughs> terrible. Yours is rude. Mine will will stand out. Yours, you're gonna have, uh, yeah, you're gonna have couch for nipples. Yeah, dude, because this shot looked so good already. The shot yeah. was so great. I, I, God, it's such a bummer that I'm gonna goof it up. You know, I'm gonna mess because yeah. it looks so good already. Yeah. Well, just for the folks at home, I'm coming to you live this episode from Antwerp, Belgium. Candace. We're both on Candace. We're on the ship still, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to pretend right now because <laughs> it's 1030. And um, oh, you can see the ship place. through the letters on my shirt. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the TMT Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website, Holy fuck, Jamie! Can we get a clip of that deer hit? Get hit by that car? The mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. The so-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt. And get ready for the base. Well, um, my part of the ship is in Antwerp, Belgium. And let me tell you, this place, uh, we just happen to be staying in an area that is highly decorated with pickpockets. So okay. <laughs> my head has been on a swivel for the last 20 minutes. Have you got, have you, like, has anyone tried anything? You just, a lot of, a lot of dudes roaming around and grabbing your ass. Pack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have hey, a story about I... that too. Nice ass, man. Mind if I get a handful? You're like, please be my guest. Oh, Wait. I have a story. Of, I have a story wallet? about that too. Don't you worry. Okay. Don't you worry. Can't wait. But no, a lot of dudes in packs of fours with um, hands, hands looking shifty, and getting kind of close. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. We. Uh, yeah. But you know. Yeah. Anyways, no. <laughs> Jk, I'm on the ship. You know, like dudes don't really walk in packs of fours unless they have a sports jersey on. Yeah, or uh, or a button up shirt. Well, I think what it is is that you know when when the boys are roaming, regardless of nationality, the boys always seem to be engaged in conversation. You know, they're all looking at each other. They're joshing. Hey, you're ugly. No, you're uglier. You know, but, but that's what I'm saying. There's always like an. It's like you don't. They don't just like walk in groups of fours unless like they're going to a, th- a thing. Yeah, yeah, and 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 these boys, they're kind of roaming. Um, but they're not talking. They're just looking. They're all looking at you. <laughs> hmm. And you're like, all right. Yeah, you're like something. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sports jersey. Yeah. Um, all the, and they're big on the bikes here. Man, just moving. A hundred. I think they bike as fast as cars here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yo, speaking of ass grabs, I was just in Glasgow. And after the show, some people are hanging outside the Sprinter. And I said, what's up? And this dude... Fully grabbed my ass as a bit. <laughs> no way, really? Yeah. What did yeah, you yeah. I was like, whoa, I got groped. And he said, oh, he's like, sorry, sorry. And then he was really wasted. And then he talked to me about some other things. And then he left. It talked like just changed the subject. Yeah. Like he just, you know, he's just being a lad. It was just a, you know, a, a cheeky, your ass, a che- yeah, a cheeky lad grab. <laughs> I kind of would. I probably would have been pissed. <laughs> yeah, uh, for all my English people, yeah, no, I was, I was pissed. But for all my English people, you're all familiar with lad broke. Um, that was a lad grope. Um, yeah, no, I was I was pretty like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> where did, where, do you get off thinking that? You can cool? look, but you can't touch. Yeah, exactly. You know, 
you could you could you could lay your eyes on these tasty cakes, but so help you God that you reached over the fucking counter. <laughs> did he did he compliment you at all? Um yeah, no, he gripped like, it. Boy, oh like, boy, that's a, now that's a handful. Yeah. God yeah. damn. You're my yeah. you're you're the thickest comedian on Twitter. Mm-hmm. No, he took a grip and he's like, oh, is this what in and out feels like? Because <laughs> these are some buns right here. <laughs> you bet you could fit five guys in these buns. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it was it was definitely weird. Yeah. I don't know how to feel. It kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, I got my ass grabbed. Yeah, you got Well, to be fair, um, his girl, she and I'm sorry, I'm just taking off with conversation here, but it's just at the front of my mind. No, that's fine. Go go ahead. Um, his lady for the photo, she jokingly you know, because I said something about my height relative to hers, because she's a bit taller than me. And she said, short king. I said, yep. And then she goes, oh, wait. And then she wraps her arms around my midsection and then just, like, drop down, like, squat. So her head is by my waist. It was an innocent bit. She was trying to be funny. But then Tom was like, hey, yo, hey, <laughs> let's chill. <laughs> and then she realized what she was doing, and then she stood right back up. And you turn around, uh, and her boyfriend is down by your ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was gripping with both hands. No, his dad. His, yeah, he had his face down <laughs> there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he gripped me up. That so she did that, and then he gripped me up. And then this young lady comes up, and we take a photo. And then she says, "I just have to let you know that I was introduced to you by a guy who used to make me suck his nipples while jacking him off." <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fucking that's great that's unique yeah dare i say hard ass intro hey yeah hey? seriously no. yeah yeah that's but, um wild. yeah it was i it was really weird <laughs> but it was funny i can't i have zero there's zero sexual anything coming from my nipples <laughs> you know what I'm I have no sensitivity there that is in any way related to anything sexual at all. Hold up. Hold up. Really? So yeah. you're saying you're saying you could get your nipple uh absolutely sucked licked off? and sucked off. Wouldn't do it. And uh what? Why? Are you, like are you someone it would feel like someone sucking on my elbow. Is that from diving? You just get like like yeah, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe damaged running, your nipples. Maybe from running, I've just shaved every nerve in it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just calls. Yeah. Fucking calls yeah. there. Yeah, you've got foreskin on your nipples. So you got to pull them back to get to the good part. Little pink earlobes right here. <laughs> Chest. Damn. Lobe. Yeah, I got. Hey, man. Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me, like, if you, like, if a, if a girl like rubbed your nipples, or I mean, I guess your wife, if your <laughs> wife like touched your nipples, that would like turn you on. Like you'd be like, oh, you actually no, no. You're you're right. You're right. I don't think I have much. Like, look at yeah, this. I don't have much feeling there either. Nice, dude. I could do this for the whole time, not even get hard a little bit. <laughs> Somebody clip that. Somebody <laughs> clip that. That's a good clip right there, man. Like. You know, as the guy in that scenario, you wouldn't you assume that he would want the mouth to be on the penis? Why on I, the I guess not. Hand on hey, the man, some some guys they they like the nipple play. I don't understand. They're, they're about it. Well, I, I think what was weird and I, I don't want to be misremembering here, but I think she said that she would do this. While they watched my content, Good. but He's that doesn't saying, sound right. Not gay because you're jacking me off. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Maybe the maybe the video was like a precursor, like hey, come over, let's hang out, let's watch these videos, you know. And then it then it just happens to be there in the background. But I don't think yeah. he's going like, yo, put on my put on put on that mustache, man. You know, step one. Skinny penis vine on on repeat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Set your YouTube on replay video and just watch that over and over again. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> anyway, what what is it? Is it Monday over there? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm asking. Is it, uh, just, 
Well, it is a globe trotter now. I just yeah, you know, man, I'm just around. I don't know time zones anymore, man. It's I'm uh, hopping from one hemisphere to the next, and you get kind of, like, you know, lose track of what of normal life for, you know, you know, there for you. Yeah, a lot of people think the world is this like one big place, but like you know, once you just like learn to step out of your comfort zone, <laughs> that's all you have to do is just step out of your comfort zone, you know. What like for me, I do. You know, like I, I thought, like forever, like you know, Orange County was it, you know, and then I stepped out of my comfort zone, and you know, now I got a palace in Bali, and um, you know, I, I yeah, pop. And that's why I always recommend people to people travel. You know, get out there for two years at least, at a minimum. J- just take three years off, man. Like three what are you years gonna- off. Everyone should take three years off. Uh, that's what I tell people. Everyone, and it's weird that people choose not to. Just yeah, take three years life, off. Life is a choice, man. I agree. Like life is definitely a choice, and and you can you can make a choice. You can either choose to work for three years for a job that you don't care about, or go to Bali, you know, and surf, and do yoga. And you know. make that your life. Like, which one seems like better? Work? Oh, Bali yoga, hanging out with monkeys. Smoothie bowls. Uh, uh Or whichever is better. Heavier. Right? <laughs> yeah, man. So, you know, what day is it? <laughs> Monday. It is Monday? All right. I just Late lose Monday. track of the days just because um, when you're traveling... Just such a you no. Know, when you're not conforming to this sort of, you know, f- fictional schedule that the man has implemented, capitalism has convinced us all that like we have to. Sunday. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the system makes you think like, oh, these are the days you work. But it's crazy. Like, if you make the right choices, like there are no days of work. You know. Exactly. Exactly. And it's like. You know, I might be surfing on a Monday and then on the weekend, I might be working on my course that I put out. Which you can sign up for um, at, you know, get absolutely tilted dot com. Yeah. Um, sign up for my discord, man. I'm, I'm, I'm teaching classes. What would you get up to this weekend? Well, I went to Vegas. Oh, that's right. How was it? I was there for 12 hours. 12 yeah fuck yeah man kind of ideal the in the old uh the old dine and dash yeah that's true a true in and out situation <laughs> Flew in, and and it was like the trip was longer than it was supposed to be because there was like a lot of traffic getting to the airport and then my flight was delayed so it would have mm. been even shorter if it had every if it, if everything had gone to plan it would have been a tight like 11 hours tight <laughs> Um, so we fly in, uh, with the PJ, of course we, with the P well, no, I flew, I flew jet suite. You ever flown that? Um, is that, is that the one where it's like a shared PJ? Yeah. It's like a private terminal. So you don't have to do security or lines or anything like that. And it's probably like 200 bucks more than a, than another flight, like flights to Vegas. You can get them for like 50 bucks on spirit or something like that but this yeah. this is probably like 200 to 250 per ticket so it's like a normal airline ticket anywhere else but you don't have to deal with lines or anything and you can show up literally 10 minutes before the flight it's lax but it's a private terminal so it's like off got to the it. side got it but sometimes it's annoying because it's like your flight gets delayed because there's like four planes you know yeah and if they're delayed you know um, although I guess that happens with normal flights too, but you, you, you understand it's still like a, it's like a small company. So sometimes things go wrong and I feel yeah. like that's the type of plane that crashes, you know? Yeah. Well, Hey, I mean, you're bold for getting on, you know, my friend was like, that's the type of shit that like a plane, well, one of those will go down and it just doesn't even make the news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah. 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 I've seen these guys shirts, JSX. I think like, when I first saw this, I down, this... You'd, you'd make the local news and wherever it crashed. Yeah. No, when I first saw these t-shirts, I de- genuinely thought, is this like a, what like dev conference is this from? 
2023, we're finally happy to announce that JavaScript is well on its way to becoming middleware. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dex. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so that's what we did to get there, and then. Uh, what what's the plane like? Is it is it just regular seats? Yeah, it's basically like they put a bunch of like normal airplane seats on a private jet. So it's like thirty people or forty people or something like that. Mm. It feels like a normal flight. I guess the cabin okay. is a little bit nicer. Like it feels like maybe a first class cabin in a commercial flight. Sure. Um, were you scared getting in this thing? I mean, it is a smaller plane, so you do feel the bumps and shit a lot more. And I like, I don't like yeah. it as it is. So it is a little bit nerve wracking for me. Yeah. 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 I, I commend you, man. This, this would scare the fuck out of me. I think I'd have more confidence hopping in a plane, like a jumper plane with Luke than I would one of these. And Why? Luke has flown once. Wait, what? Luke, you've flown? He flew a plane in, in high school. You told me. Yeah, I was in middle school, but yeah. In middle school? Yeah, I was a co-pilot with my uncle, but yes. And did you like did he like relinquish control and he was like, "All right." A couple times. He let All me right, take nephew. off cuz it's really hard to fuck that up. With how did it feel? Like flying a plane? Yeah, but like, <laughs> was it scary? No, I loved it. We flew uh <laughs> from where we were to a big air show <laughs> in Wisconsin. <laughs> What was that like? Like flying an airplane, fucker? Yeah, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> like, stop asking. Looks me like G- it's not my fucking show. Yeah, he's like Jesus, man. You have all these experiences. You've never flown a fucking plane, you <laughs> pussy. Oh wow. No, so we get. So it is kind of like you know. I feel like with air travel, like they hide a lot of like the logistics stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't see a lot of it. Everything's like pretty well oiled and you just you're like, oh, I'm just getting in this thing and it's going to fly me across the country. And really, like there's a lot of complexities that go into flying a tube, you know, at a thousand miles an hour or whatever in the air. Yeah. But you see a lot of that shit when you like you're walking on the tarmac to the stairs, you know, and you see the stairs come down. And as as and then like the bags are getting moved on and the flight attendant is asking the guy down there, like, are the bags on yet? And the guy's like, (laughs) looking like, I think they're putting them on now. And as I'm walking up the stairs, the guy goes, the flight attendant goes, "Ah, we're not going to make it then. We're not going to make the cutoff. And he walks away and I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? What cutoff? Is there like a storm coming? Like what's, what cutoff are you talking about? Yeah. And he like goes up and talks to the pilots and I don't know, we took off and very, very quickly. So I was a little bit nervous. Oh, maybe, maybe, yeah, the the airport's so big. It's like, you know, you probably got a window that you can have your moment up there. Yeah, maybe. And uh, and if you don't get if you don't get in, no flight. Or maybe there's a bomb on board. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we got to land before it detonates. <laughs> yeah. We're all going to die. There's yeah, barely any no. security. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, what's the security no, like? None. They don't there's none. Oh, it's not <laughs> That makes me your, You have to hold your laptop in your hand and you walk through like this little metal detector. That's it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. It's just such so as club security. <laughs> no, it's less than club security. Dude, even as the DJ at the club, when I walked in, the guy still like legs apart, metal detector every fucking inch of my crotch. Yeah. You know? But I- but when you get on when you get on this plane, they fucking they just have one of the broken wands. Like it doesn't even turn on. He's just kind of waving it around you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, you're good. Like one of the light up parking ones. Yeah. Yeah, dude, you're good. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine, man. Nice. Is, and you know what's funny? It's like it is it is Vegas clientele to a T on that flight. <laughs> oh, yeah, tell us about some of these characters. I mean, it's just like kind of a like it was also EDC weekend. Oh, yeah. Like a lot of people are getting on this and then landing and then getting right on a helicopter and flying right to the festival. Sick. So there's just dudes talking about like set times and, and, uh, you know, definitely. Yeah. I was just, it was just an interesting group.
group of people for sure. A bunch of agents on there. I'm not acting like I'm, I'm one of them, you know, <laughs> like, I, like on the flight, I'm like, I'm like putting, like, I'm like fucking with songs and like putting them on my USB drive. And I'm like, I bet I look like the biggest douche right now. Yeah. I mean, I think once you're, I think, ev- I think everyone was, became the biggest douche when they started walking out to that plane. So I think, you are well within your rights to do any douchebag thing up there. You you they, could have been... Ch- go ahead. What? I was going to say they make it very... They still make it very clear to you that this is not flying private. Because as <laughs> you walk out on the tarmac, they go, please do not take pictures of the other planes in the hangar. We'd like to respect the owner's privacy. Oh. And you're like, wow, I'm a piece of shit. Oh. Yeah. They're like, you're not yeah, you're- you're not good enough. This is not flying. That is flying private. This is not. <laughs> you can take all the pictures you want of our plane. You can take a picture of yourself on the plane. Do not even point your phone towards those planes. Don't even for one second try to convince your friends that you're in this hangar because of who you are. All right. <laughs> Don't even for one moment try to trick anyone you know into thinking that you would get anywhere near this kind of fucking plane. All right? You, you can take a picture of this one. This is the one that you're allowed to sit on. And remember that. It's allowed to sit on. And remember, you're allowed to sit on this plane because we tricked you into paying a little bit too much for a flight to Vegas because you're dumb. That's what you are. These okay. people are rich. You're dumb. Okay. okay. You paying for this pays for that plane right there. Right? <laughs> so don't even think don't even fucking think about turning your phone that direction all right now go in there eat your fucking biscoff cookie and don't say a fucking word <laughs> okay i'll have right. a ginger ale we don't have ginger ale <laughs> they do they got it on that they got they got 1942 on that plane if you work hard enough maybe one day you'll get ginger ale on a private plane okay <laughs> so you're on the plane you're fucking with your USB drive. What time is your set? So this is at like 7.30. My set's at 12. So that's what I'm saying. It was pretty tight. Pretty and, tight. And um, where, uh, wh- where is the set in context of the festival? Where do you have to be physically? I don't know where the festival was, but this was at Encore. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. Yes. The festival apparently is, I don't even know. Apparently it's like a drive outside of Vegas. Mm. and apparently it's just miserable to get there because the traffic is horrendous. Of course. So it's like an hour and a half, and then once you're there, you're just... Did you see, like, I... there's, like, videos popping up. Sometimes I'm on, like, EDM Twitter, so I was getting a lot of, like, EDC-related tweets, and somebody was like, check out the food situation at EDC, and they're, like, filming the booths, and a pizza was $90. You... 90 bucks. <laughs> now, how many slices are we talking about? I don't, I don't know. A whole pizza costs up to $96. A street taco platter is priced at 70 and a sushi platter with only six rolls reaches an astonishing $100. <laughs> this is ju- their EDC is just a window into the future. They're just getting ahead of the inflation. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Actually, they're forward thinking. That's sick, man, that they're at um, fucking World War II Germany prices, dude. You know what's funny is that, like, you know, EDC, like, you know, electronic music and, like, Plur and all this shit's supposed to be about, like, love and respect and the festival. So, like, this is still Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you're, just because you're an hour and a half outside the Strip, but this isn't fucking Vegas. We're still going to fuck yeah. every way we can. <laughs> yeah, dude. $100. What do you think is more expensive, this or Coachella? This, dude. Coachella's not that bad. Hmm. Hmm. How much is a sushi platter at Coachella? Maybe like 25 bucks. All right. Like restaurant price? That is insane. Did everyone just starve? Do I mean, do you get hungry on Molly? Do you just live off water? How, how do I you... feel like I feel like like uppers don't like they dull your appetite but i mean you got to eat eventually but maybe that's what it is is that they know everyone's so tanked that they can do whatever they want to that number because no one's buying no one's buying it anyways 
yeah you like have to do this in order to like make this economical yeah yeah that's the thing is we think there's a line like <laughs> there's clearly no line for this food there's gonna be one guy that goes there and buys the sushi rolls all day yeah, one sober guy yeah uh, my fucking girlfriend dragged me here i don't know i don't know man it's kind of hot let me uh let me get the sushi Covered. rolls yeah let me get the sushi rolls i guess <laughs> That that's what it is, dude. There's only six sushi rolls in that booth right there, <laughs> and they've been there for three days. Yeah, they're just chilling. Just chilling. <laughs> All right, so it's seven. Your set time is at twelve. Yeah, so it's then at I, encore. Yeah, yeah. So we checked in. Uh, went downstairs, hit the horses, smash. Um, I hit. About four went up like a hundred bucks back down to like twenty dollars profit. I put two hundred bucks in. I cashed out with like two twenty. We go over to the roulette table. Four, four out of the first five rolls hit a number. Couldn't believe it. Went up like four hundred bucks. Wow. Back down to two hundred. Two hundred up. Right. And this point, I also this is sound like a fucking degenerate right now, but. Right before the flight, I bet on the Nuggets game. Hit that bet. Awesome. While we yeah. were flying there. So that's another 200 bucks. Denver, they were, it was plus 200 or something. So I hit that. Great bet. Then I'm up 200 on roulette. Then, then I had to go get ready for my set. So I did that. Then after the set was like, it was 3, 3 15 a.m. I'm like, time for bed. Let's hit the horses one more time. Sit down. Hit for another fifteen, cashed out, and the chips are just sitting, sitting in my living room right now. So I left Vegas. I think this is the first time ever I actually left up. And you're just never gonna cash them out. I'm going back on Thursday or Friday, so. Oh, so yeah, you know, exact same place. So I was like, I don't even, I don't even need to cash out. Damn. So all in four and five days, but for the time being, it was a tight twelve where I left up. Nice. Congrats, dude. This might be the first time Cody left up. Ladies and gentlemen, clap in your car. Round of applause, please. Cody has finally beat enough, the house. Didn't even have enough time to hit slots, craps, nothing. After being down $19,500, <laughs> Cody has finally come home with a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. So that felt uh, good. How was the set? How was the show? It was good. Yeah, it was good. I was pretty nervous, and I fucked up a couple times. Yeah, um, like near the beginning, but yeah, I don't think anyone really noticed? And it, you know, I mean, you should just what I was gonna say. You should just drop a um, like a nuclear test warning in the middle of your set. <clears throat> yeah, so it's like, like a, or like a, it's like it's like, like boom, an boom, 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 Get inside. Get inside. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. Get inside. There is a nuclear threat imminent. Get inside. Wait, Seek can I, shelter. Can I show you the one that we made yesterday? Yeah. Play loud. I'm ready. Play loud. All right, we got something really special up next. Oh, no, sorry. This is the fun. No, this is, sorry, this is wrong tab, wrong tab. How do I, hold on. I'm not familiar with these tools. How do I X out? How do I get close? I'm, I'm, I'm pressing, is it, it delete or is it return? No, click. Oh, command X. How do I, do we just unplug it or turn it down? What is it? How do I get the battery out of this thing? It's just jammed in there. It's not, this is not my, even what I was trying to do. Oh, no, my fucking wife is going to kill me. singles in your area oops we don't want to get copyright claimed if you want to hear this go to tmgstudios.tv marcus and devin came over yesterday and it's like what should we make and they're like he's like well i i uh i want to remix the Pornhub intro okay and there you go so there you go that's what we came up with how was your weekend it was it was good. Uh, where the fuck? You know, I'm just such a global traveler now. It's hard to recall. 
you know where the fuck i was at let's let let me let me just let me just jog my memory you know (laughs) let me whip out the old phone you know dazzle through the images dazzle Um, images yeah let's see when did we last speak when did we last do this exact thing i believe where in the world is no one knows that man luke you're fucking old dude i know that sick reference man yeah because you're 33 and i'm 33 true now every everybody knows let's see where was i a couple days ago i i i was in i went to manchester oh yeah how was that um it was it, that was a great show. I went to Glasgow. Shout out to the people of Glasgow. Stoicism on two hundred, you know, uh, type of guys to. They're, they're the type of people like, you know, some of them, laugh out loud, you know, enjoy themselves. Others, just stare at you with just a slight smile the entire time, and they're having the time of their life. Really. Yeah, has, in that same, you know, horny ass meet and greet where I got um sexually assaulted and uh I you know <laughs> I also had some, you know, some lads that were really hype on the show, but they just didn't break character. Even coming up to me, they were like, I how are ya? <laughs> Love the show, mate, class, stand there for a picture, and then they just fit but noth- nothing on the face. Not a single shift. You know, um, and then I went to Newcastle. Uh, Newcastle, Newcastle, up the tune. They uh, that was a great show. It was a little bit more intimate. Quiet town, not much going on. Bold. Wait, what? Hit a one seven. Which is the one that you had trouble selling? Newcastle. Okay, and how did it feel? Um, honestly, it's fine. When when the you know. Uh, when a show is like that, it tends to be. I, I would actually say that was one of my best shows of the entire sixty-three show run, hmm. because they're more intimate, and I can talk to people more directly, and I just feel kind of. Uh, I feel no pressure, so I think I actually perform better. Nice, and I just give it my all up there because may not be sold out, but people still paid money, and oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I try to. I, I try to make it feel like there's a fucking I'm performing for a million people in there, man. It would be kind of so, funny if you didn't take it as seriously. You're like shit's not even sold out, so. <laughs> yeah, just pull out my phone and start reading shit. <laughs> hey, what the fuck is up with Uber Eats? You guys see no, this? Not like you guys see this fucking video of this deer. Yeah. <laughs> you guys see this? It's fucking crazy. Uber Eats is fucked, man. This isn't a bit like your Uber Eats just sucks out here. There's nothing <laughs> worth eating. I don't get it. <laughs> I, uh, I laugh. Thanks, dude. <laughs> we yeah, I I bowled. I, I I hit a nice little 178. Nice. Got on the leaderboard over there at lane seven in Newcastle. So if you're feeling frosty, I dare you to go over there. I don't think they're gonna put me up on the board, but Why I wouldn't I they? bumped. Um. Because Marlon put fake names, so he didn't put my name. He put, uh, my name was, ooh, I think I'm funny. And I just don't think they're going to put that up on the board. Yeah. But the guy I bumped out, so it's the top 10 for the month. And the uh, num- place number seven, his score was 177. So I edged him out by one point, And he was working that night. And he watched me eke out his score. When I went back to turning my shoes... Uh, I said, do you guys update the board manually? I'm just curious. And then she goes, <laughs> you know, just like, you know, gloating a little bit. Like, you <laughs> you need me to do it? I'll yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. You, you want me to swap When is that going to happen? Is that going to be tonight or? Oh, tomorrow. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah, she did. She said, she's like, just we the, update them the is, weekly. The name is, ooh, I think I'm funny. <laughs> well, I think That's two O's. Yeah. Two O's H U U U U U Think. She's like, we update them weekly. That's more Manchester, but, yeah. and then uh, she, I'm like, okay, cool, cool, yeah, no, cool, 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 cool. I'm just here for the night because I did a show, but 
you know, if you want to let Paul know who's fucking in charge, do me that favor. You're like, and I guess what, what day of the week even is it? What day do they update? And what? Yeah, what day do they update? Because you say weekly, like, what is that? That doesn't mean anything to me. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So, yeah. So, yeah, if you're feeling froggy down there at Lane Seven in Newcastle, see if you can challenge 178. I dare you. So, how many strikes is that? Well, it it depends, but in this scenario, it wasn't that great. I was like pretty inconsistent. I would, I would like strike, spare, strike, spare. So, I had one, two, three, four. I only had five, five strikes. Mm. Yeah, and I I missed some pretty easy ones. Still a great score. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, I, you know I was hype. Um, and if you go I beat s- that score at that bowling alley, send us a picture. Yeah. And I'm I might mail you fifty quid. Yeah. I say quid now because I don't say bucks because they don't say bucks <clears throat> out there in the UK. Ah, yes, that makes sense. Yeah, you know, I know I say bucks or quid, I, sorry. Bitcoin because it's universal. I'm just <laughs> yeah. <how laughs> yeah, <much>. dude. <laughs> um what else, man? Oh, we hit this amazing rest stop. Truly amazing. It's called T Bay. T E B A Y. Um, I think there's like a chain maybe, but like this one, the T-Bay service station, they got this nice little restaurant, man, I've seen plenty of rest stops in America. We don't do it like these Brits, man. God damn. You know, we, I mean, granted we, we're a much bigger country, so we can't, but this one, dude, it's like farm fresh food. You can see literal cows, you know, 15 feet from a restaurant that's next to the petrol station. And they have, you know, is they have this little, yeah, this is it. They have this pond what? out back. Oh, bro, it's, it's beautiful. Station? Yeah, they, it's like a restaurant next to a gas station. It's like a rest stop. Oh my God. And do they have steak and ale pies. They have ice cream that tastes like you're just sucking it straight from a cow's nipple, you know, which... If you're vegan, as, is, as you're jacking off the cow, yeah, just <laughs> yep. Wow. You put on your favorite, you put on your favorite YouTuber, and you strike it up in front of the cow, and you just exactly. This is beautiful, bro. Gorgeous. I love shit, I love a good rest stop. Yeah, this was like a VR loading sequence. I probably, used, I, you probably would see something like this in Canada, dude. That remind it, it reminds me of some shit you see at the top of the mountain. You know? Yeah. Yeah. T Bay, man. So this this was life changing. This was you know like one hour in purgatory. It was great. Purgatory is not supposed to be great. <laughs> That's how I describe some of these places in the UK. You just you don't know if it, if life's about to be good or bad after. <laughs> but it's this beautiful kind of. We're gonna pause here for a moment. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Uh, anyway, um, yes. Yeah, speaking of good service. I saw this lady, this LSU lady, badgering the crowd about the shots. You see this shit? No, what is it? Oh, brother. Talk about a speech. You, you know, if you're... Oh, this is... pauses real quick. Great. If you were thinking about a, a, a career in live performance, perhaps you're thinking, you know, oh, man, I'd like to try my hand at stand-up. Bro, just get up and just do some shit like this. You could do this for five minutes, rile up the crowd, and the next community, can, and then you, as you're getting off stage, the next comic's getting on stage, you'd be like, "Try to beat that fucker." <laughs> let me see. Let let this rip. If you buy her one margarita, she will spread her legs. <laughs> if you buy her two margaritas, she will. After three margaritas, she will grab your penis and put it in her mouth. Four margaritas. She will grab your penis and ram it right up her anus. Three, four, five. She will strap it on and peg you. 
<laughs> Wait, what yeah. the fuck was that even supposed to be? I think she's maybe um, a religious person trying to speak out against, you know, college drinking or something. Wait, she's speaking out against it? It sounds like she's all for it. I, th- I, yeah, right. It, yeah, the delivery is not too, not too good. She's, she's definitely hype. confusing because she's getting them hyped. Yeah, all the guys are like, yeah. I think her her thinking was, oh, I'm gonna, you know, get them, uh, you know, I'm gonna get them into the idea and then show them that just after five margaritas, you're getting pegged. After five <laughs> margaritas, dude, she's sucking on my nipples for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After five, after five Love margaritas, <laughs> everything feels good. <laughs> it takes five margaritas for a runner to get feeling back in their nipples. Exactly. <laughs> also, this this thing about four margaritas, she'll ram it in her anus. Yeah, right, man. Yeah. What do you, you say? I think <laughs> I feel I, I feel like ass play is. You kind of know if you're into it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't think for margaritas, someone's like suddenly like, you know what? Let's let's go there. And and not only that, not only like let's try it out, but like let's ram it, ram yeah. it in there. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Also, I I I wonder what the percentage is of of men that are keeping it up after four margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> Four margaritas, and she will take your soft penis. And- <laughs> I love the way she and says penis. 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 And stuff and fold it up and stuff it in her anus. <laughs> She'll we- roll that corn dog right between <laughs> her fingers. What are you going to say? Can we rip that one more time? Oh, yeah. I'd like yeah, to get- make some more. Uh, more detailed observations here. Penis. Maybe the shirt tells some stories. Just says, yeah. What does it say? No mo. No Be a ho no mo. Be a ho no. So you're right. She's speaking out against it. <laughs> Dude. This is this is yeah. Go ahead. If you buy her one margarita, she will spread her legs. <laughs> She, she, even her, she was like, yep, yeah, wait, no, no. They were cheering, and she was like, mm-hmm. Wait, no, that's bad. She's like, no, listen to me. Yeah, she's, she's trying to scare him. She's going to pounce on your penis. Yeah. What? You no. know what's really? Oh, no. You know what's really funny? A bunch of women here, not one of them agree. Yeah. <laughs> when you watch this whole thing, they're all just shaking their head at her like, <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not ramming anything in my ass, <laughs> bro. Also, <laughs> I like how she puts the. You know, it's the margarita only affects women. Yeah, in her logic. Yeah, it, you know, it's it's only girls. You know, yeah. and why <laughs> margarita? Yeah, she's just telling on herself. She's just telling everyone that margaritas make her horny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's like, ladies, I gotta tell you something. Some you you gotta stay away from this drink. It's called a margarita. It'll bring the dog out of you, trust me. And I kind of like how it's she's not making it about tequila. This is more about the sugar. Yeah. Than any yeah. <laughs> it's more of a commentary on like sh- a sugary drink. Yeah. Yeah. All right, keep, keep playing. Your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, pause. <laughs> That's how nasty a dude's penis is that a woman has to be wasted to even consider. <laughs> like, I, I have to have no sense of smell to even give this a shot. Uh, this is so funny. You gone? Yeah. Oh, 
two, three, four. She will grab your penis and ram it right up her anus. <laughs> It happens after five. She will strap it on and take you. What? Dude, a confused cheer, that last one. There was one guy in the audience who texted his girlfriend, babe, you need to drink five margaritas right now. <laughs> yeah. And then all the rest of them are like conditioned to say yes after whatever it is she's about to say. Yeah. Then they she says it and they're like, yeah. Oh, yo. <laughs> okay, now I'm with you. I see your message. <laughs> I am not down for that. That's crazy, man. A margarita is so powerful that uh it I guess is she saying that you as a man turn into a hoe? <laughs> I don't know. You know, cuz she's making it sound like levels 1 through 4. It's the ladies that need to stop being hoes, but then level five. <laughs> five level thinking. By the way, as far as five level thinking goes, uh, you know our you know our boy Leon Hendricks and uh, Mr. Poop Test himself, you know? They they saw the clip. Yeah. Oh I did they really? Yeah, I was talking with Mr. Leon. What did he say? You know, he uh he posted a couple times and then he humbly stated why are we so easy to make fun of, LOL? And I just messaged him. I said, you guys are good, man. Teach us how to reverse age. And he said, maybe a fun idea for your show to do a poop test. And then he said, or 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 test your own biological age and pace uh, again and start a poop test movement. And I said, we talked about doing an enema with you guys on our bonus episode. I don't even know if we did that. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought I thought we joked about doing like an enema or something, so I I quoted that. Okay, I think. Um, we did. But then I said, uh, I said when I'm home, let's bring a full circle and let's uh, let's all take a poop test for the show. And he said they were we should, we should do that. Let's do it. Yeah, take a. Let's have them on the show and. Yeah, take a poop test. Man. Take a poop test. Um, I think I'm okay, gonna so be- to get my blood worked on next week. Yeah, I I had one and I got some risky things going on, so you should do that, man. Wait, what do you got going on? Uh I have like a unique blood type that is naturally stickier and this is something that like a quarter of Americans experience, so leaves me a little bit more prone to the old cardiovascular threats. Let's see. And uh there's nothing that can really you know, um, there's other things that like the way my body breaks down f- uh, cholesterol and stuff. It's not very efficient. So it's like a nice combo for a bad situation, which makes sense because uh, the boys get heart disease in my family. So mm. I see I got to I got to be on top. But let, let hold on. Let's uh, let's see what's up with be a ho no mo. Is there anything else besides this shop? You know, is there anything on the website? Nope. It's just the shirt online. <laughs> no, and, then, no and, there, and then there's an anti-vax. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. We, we got some Biden right here. There are three, there are three th- things in this world. A face. Oh, just don't even say this. We're going to get demonetized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, gang. Well, you know what? speaking of blood types, I like to think that we're. Our blood is kind of rare at this point because we got the. Johnson Johnson and Johnson vaccine and that just got like you can't even get it in the states anymore. Why? Cuz it's it's illegal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do we google that? It's no longer available in the United States according to the US Centers for Disease Control. All remaining doses expired last week and the CDC directed providers to dispose of any that they had left over. <laughs> That's good, man. <laughs> I think it was too good is what it is. <laughs> yeah, man. Too powerful. And like I the, really hope so. People that took it ended up being too handsome. Ah, right, right. Had to take it off the market. Yeah, yeah. It made their penises bigger, and <laughs> yeah, exactly. It made them taller. It made them richer, faster, smarter. It reversed age. That's the reverse aging, actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Have you noticed anything wrong with you? I mean, I've just been like 
flying private a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no more tears. Johnson & Johnson, no more tears. Oh, dude, I passed by a giant crab yesterday. <laughs> it was it was a king crab in a window. Oh fuck and yeah! It, it this was in this was in Newcastle. It was a giant king crab in a window, Newcastle. And all I could think was just running up to it and striking through the glass through its head with a sword. That's that's all that was on my mind. Yeah, but that would be a quick death. <sighs> yeah, you're right. That's not good enough. No, I, I was going to strike the sword and just get its left legs. And I think throw him out in the street and chase him. Do that, right? But then you pin it to the ground. <laughs> so, and then you take the other half and you tie yeah. those legs to your like moped. Yeah. yeah. Right. Each one of the <laughs> each one of the Deliveroo bikes. Yeah. All right, boys. Yeah. Let it rip. <laughs> is that a what is this joke? Deliveroo. Um. Oh, that's just their uh, Uber Eats. Uber Eats, okay. Um, I'm so I'm so English now, man. I so we we talked about fish and chips last time. Yeah, man. We went out for dinner on Thursday, <laughs> and I saw you know I was like I saw fish tacos on the menu. I was like, that's pretty much as close as you can get. Yeah, and if I get fries separate, you know, pretty much be the uh, same. Ah. Uh. So I got it, and I'm like, are these good? He's like, oh, yeah, dude. I just had them for lunch this morning or today. I highly recommend them. I'm like, great. Fuck yeah. Breaded, please. Make sure these fuckers are fried. Yeah. And it just was not the same. Not even. No. No. You're thinking about her. Everything reminds me of her. Everything. Yeah. Oh, you'll be in the UK soon. Where, where, where's, the, uh, where's the old shindig? Can you say? It's outside of London. I forget the town, but it's a small town, which probably fares better. Yeah. Right? Well, do you know if it's north, east, west, south? South, I think. You probably won't be... If it's a small town just outside London, you're not going to be near water, but you'll probably be near some good fish and chips. I'm fine with meat pie, too. I'll do that. Ooh. Also. Get you a steak and L pie. Yeah. Steak and L. Back. Um. Wait. 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 More UK things. More UK things. I just remembered something. Uh, I actually meant to say this when I was in Birmingham. Uh, the gritty is worldwide. <laughs> okay. And and when I say that, what I mean is, um, I'm literally doing the gritty right now. Okay. That statement is worldwide. Really. Dude, walking into a Tesco, I'm standing outside of Tesco, and it was like, I don't know, three women. They're they're walking around, they're like a bottle of vodka, so they're at least, you know, twelve. Okay. And <laughs> now they were, you know, I would imagine they are like college or on the cusp of. Okay. And they're in full English accents, you know, Midlands English accent, and then they they break character and in perfect American English. I'm literally doing a goody white now. <laughs> like, do they say it to you? Uh, no, they're saying it to each other, to like each joking other. around. Yeah. Wow. And then I was watching some because you know now my phone my phone's been listening to me, so I get pushed like like Ireland subreddits and you know UK TikToks. And I was watching some video, and. Yeah, the, like the the people in the video were were just somewhere, you know, not America, and same thing, broke character. So I'm literally doing a goody white now. Really? Yeah. So they don't even say it in a British accent. No. Literally doing the gritty right now. No. No. Wow. Oh, mate, I'm literally doing the gritty right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know where that would be. That might no. I don't know the new that was dude, Liam, wherever Liam was from. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's Adam. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Look up Adam Love Island birthplace. 
Oh, mate, I'm literally doing the gritty right now. <laughs> that might be Newcastle-ish. Dude, the way they say literally is so, so unique. Literally. literally. Yeah, it's from Newcastle. Yeah. No. Literally. No. That, no. Ugh, that's that's no. Scouse. That's like Patty. That's the that's the tough one. What the fuck is Adam Pollard doing now? <clears throat> I'm on his Ach, mate. Oh, it turns out he's My still f- hot. <laughs> <laughs> he's blonde now. Oh, nice. <laughs> A return to form. Oh, mate. I'm literally doing the gritty. Literally doing the gritty right now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Scouse is the is the tough one, you know. Oh, I was fucking walking my dog, and then you just don't fucking take a shit in your front yard. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, um, on his uh, he just he just got lost. Yeah, in his, sorry, got lost in his chest. He must, he must have had the Johnson and Johnson vaccine like a thousand times. He just got lost in his eyes because that one makes you sexy, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's why they took it off the market. Man, oh man. By the way, guys, we posted another Cody and Noel do chaotic. Well, I guess it comes out next week, so you would know probably. You would have seen it. But yeah, it yeah. Well, let's reflect on our time with Salt, Hank, and Owen. We can finally talk about it together. Did we talk about our time with Hank? No, not really. We, I mean, we, we alluded to it. I think we joked. We were laughing about how we made him super racist. <laughs> yeah, so we... We joke about that, right? Like one of the running bits is that like at the beginning he said something about Owen's eyes or something, and then you were like, Whoa, don't talk about Asians like that or something. And I'm like, that's a little yeah. racist, right. And he was like stressing so hard about it. <laughs> and then he's you know, he's roommates with Connor. So he went home and then yeah. I saw Connor like later that day or the next day or something. He was like, dude, Hank was a fucking mess. When I got home, he was just sitting at the living room table drinking a beer by himself. <laughs> you want beer? Like I, I need. I had to. Like I'm so stressed. Like, what just happened? And I was like, wait, what? he was that fucked up about it? And he was like, yeah, man. Like you guys messed him up. <laughs> I was like, we didn't meet. It was all in good fun. Like, oh, dude, it was too good. Saw Hank. What a trooper. What a trooper, man. Yeah, yeah. Owen too. What a guy. It was really funny because after we shot with Owen. You know, he just he just goes, I'm going to be honest. I didn't really watch. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. So I wasn't sure what we were doing. You know? <laughs> and then he figured it out. And then at the end, that was just that was great when we brought them both in. Um, Owen. Oh, when will you get my name right, Owen? So go check out the one with Hank. Saw Hank, man. He's a great dude. I actually went to his place. He was doing... He he cooked for us, actually. He cooked lamb and garlic nice. bread one time. How'd it taste? And over, and it tasted really, really good. Scroll down to the comments, Luke. Um, oh, yeah, this is good. Noel stops between jokes like he's waiting for the audience to laugh. Yes. Yes. I've been doing this... My entire the existence. Hank, the way Hank is panicking the whole time, trying to entertain the drunk children. Yep. Next episode, they have two teams, uh, Owen and Noel and Hank and Cody. Um, their cook-off would be nuts. Now, why did they spell Cody with a K? <laughs> so anyways, people are loving it, guys. Yeah, they're loving it. So, yeah, give it a watch if you haven't already. No, it was a good time. Shout out Hank. It was man. a good time. We got to do more of those, honestly. We got to build a little kitchen and just do them all the time. Yeah, just just get biz. Um, Click the car- the crab one. Yeah, why don't we close it out on fighting a crab for a carrot? Oh, this is an easy battle, man. Come on, come on, man. Oh, oh my God! I don't think we can show that. <laughs> why? Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the I, rule on animal not, violence is. That's the humane way to kill a crab. <laughs> oh, just to do it. You know, the comments, man. Why are comments? They're so obvious, but they're so funny. Does this hurt the crab? 
He made him a puzzle. Like, God damn it. Hilarious. Bro really said, parry this. <laughs> <laughs> Little bro got divided. <laughs> <laughs> that yo that that is the difference between gen z and us that's how they set up their punchlines. they just put little bro in, fr- in front of it yeah, yeah exactly and it's funny like it makes it funnier yeah i have it i have two two that i want to show you uh-oh two tiktoks um, I think Uh-oh. you'll like this one here. I'm gonna send it to the thread. Luke, if you wouldn't mind just pulling this up, please. I think you'll like this one. If it's not a fucking set of four tires going in a oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. In the beginning. E- everything everything. This is yeah. This is everything. My personality. That car. You can, you can play it too because I think it's the AI Drake song, which. I don't nah. See, but also the editing is insane. Yo, I'm about to hire this kid. Uh, isn't he good? I'm about to Go hire this kid. I want to see the way he's walking in the beginning. <laughs> Dude, that walk is so is funny. Whittily doing the goody. Yeah. He is smooth with That's it. That's the smoothest run, walk I've ever seen. Run that back. Bike. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Yo. I got it. I just have to let me just go on record and say, you know, this is like me trying to become a better person or whatever. I'm trying to say nah less. My whole life I've gone with saying nah and I realize just how rude it is. <laughs> it is I mean it is kind of I guess it is a little rude. Nah. Cuz you're like brushing yeah. it off like nah. Yeah, it's it's not nice. And I don't mean it that way. You know, uh one of our guys in the crew for the UK tours, dude, Jamie, he was offering me, um, he's offering me a, a bite of some food, haggis. You know haggis? Yep. Isn't that like, li- like liver or something? It's like, yeah, animal in insides and oats. And, a- yeah, and it, and it, he goes, it's a traditional Scottish thing, and he goes, y- you want some haggis? And I just go, Nah. And I just keep eating. And he he starts laughing. And he goes, nah, just nah. And I said, yeah, that was kind of fucked, wasn't it? <laughs> My bad. You should have said, nah, thank you. Yeah, nah, thank you. That's it. Ah, That's manners. Nah, I'm good, bro. Nah, I'm chilling. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what you No. Know. No. Another bad one, you know, uh, quickly, another bad one that I, I'm trying to fix is like I, I reflex with the word all right. And I feel like that's kind of rude. Like people will tell me stuff and I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's such a dead end. All right. Yeah, that is. Damn. Pretty, yeah. That's pretty bad. So, you know, I this definitely is just one of those too. Yeah. I just I yeah. thought of one recently actually. <laughs> I think you 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 um oh no. You utilize nah. Do I? Yeah. As long as I've known you, you've always done the nah. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. Sometimes I catch myself being rude too. Yeah, to like cuz I'm I'm very like I'm not patient at all. Yeah. Like I feel like if I understand something and the other person doesn't, that's when I'm like, I get very impatient. But not like- oh, guys, l- l- let me tell you Cody's happy place. When he would like to go to sleep, um, but he can't <laughs> for just some, just kind of just, just out of his control reason. Yeah, you know, 
hell on just earth. slightly out of his control. Like for example, if someone were to accidentally light up a little weed in the front lounge, <laughs> and that's and that smoke were to just kind of come through the vents a little bit. Did we did we talk about um, when Matt stayed in my place? <laughs> no, but and did he. You... Fucking smoked weed. In oh my- yes, 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 yes. And I open up the door. I'm like, dude, it reeks in here. This is where I work every day. Such a matism inside. And he was like, yeah, I, I didn't think that it would. You couldn't <laughs> walk out. Like, just stood on the deck and smoked. It's like I didn't think it was that. Like, it would smell. Oh, <laughs> uh, can I just attempt yeah. my best Matt impression? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're, I was sorry. I wasn't trying to interrupt. I just keep picturing him going, "Yo, my bad, dude." <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Dude. <laughs> I can't do it now. I'm losing it. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> no, there's no. There's no way. There's no way the smoke is going through the vents like that. Shout out Maddie. Love Maddie. Shout out Matt. Anyway, let's 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 head on over to the bone. Um yo, smokers, tokers. And uh, you know Midnight uh, Jokers and Rock Smokers pull up to the bone zone. We're gonna get crazy. We're talking about the hottest new crack in Newcastle. We're talking about Red Bull soapbox races. And um horse and carriage interrupts a dinner. Uh oh. You'll see it all here first on the bonus. And maybe we'll talk about some hacking too. Yeah. All right, folks. Okay, bye. This week on the bone zone. Yo, speaking of grower, did you see that guy on meth fighting everyone in the gym? Dude, what the fuck? We have these flowers at our place called angel trumpets. I was talking to Jesse and she was like, by the way, don't touch those. They're like unbelievably toxic. I touched one. <laughs> I went to the bar and then had to go to the hospital because I thought I got roofy. Let's eat uh, one like on the podcast. Roofie. Okay, psychological effects of PCP. Lethargy and euphoria. And it says whipping your little cock out too. Oh, whoa. Whipping your little dingus out. <laughs> Flailing your little dingus about. Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at TMGstudios.tv. <laughs>